Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments with a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency and make money online opportunities and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors, and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel like this video and watch this video until the end because if you don't you will be automatically disqualified from the giveaway we will be sharing the random hashtag keyword daily somewhere in the video and then comment hashtag the keyword with no spaces in between in the comment section good luck now let's proceed with the latest direct in our news and until today please take these information with a grain of salt and please make sure to do your own due diligence from Intel Guru Yada, the removal of the dollar will increase the value of the dinar from the reissued rate, and none of the international contracts would be worth anything if the rate was not adjusted. We are in the midst of seeing that now, understanding where Iraq came from, what they had to do to get back to international standard, and watching it come to pass as needed is key to confidence we are about to see it transpire. From Intel Guru Ray Ren 98. Three letter guys are informing that the issue stopping the RV has been resolved. From Intel Guru Frank 26, the monetary reform is successful. All they need to do now is give them the new exchange rate and the new currency that they've been talking to them about. It's successful. That's why everybody's signing contracts left and right and pouring into Iraq. You honestly think the contracts are being signed at a program rate? Of course not. From Newshound Guru Pimpy, here's the thing that everybody is missing. Article, Government Advisor Announces Entry Into Force of 2024 Budget. Quote, The Exchange Rule 12 over 1 does not currently exist under the Financial Management Law No. 6 of 2019, as amended until the beginning of 2026. What is Iraq's Exchange Rule 12 over 1? The 12 over 1 rule refers to the rate at which the Iraqi dinar is exchanged with the U.S. dollar. 12 Iraqi dinars for every one US dollar. Over time, the 12 over 1 rule has been revised several times 1160 in 2003, 1170 in 2006. It looks to me like they're trying to say the exchange rate will change in the beginning of 2026. What is that exchange rate? 12 Iraqi dinars for every one dollars. I think I have 4 million dinars. Divide by 12. That means I have $333,500. That's what I get when I change in my Iraqi dinar 12 to 1. Take the number of dinars you have, divide by 12, and that's what you will get back. According to this article, that's not going to happen until 2026. Could something happen to expedite that? Of course it could, but they're saying here 2026 is when they expect to review whether or not they change it to the 12 over 1 rule. My view is this is their wall. From Newshound Guru Militia Man, the United States Treasury, the U.S. Federal Reserve Bank, the Bank of International Settlements, World Trade Organization, the EU, many different entities have been working with Iraq to get her to go to an international standard. The stage is set for Iraq to be international. Everybody should know that and it's not just a simple dinar guru situation. It's actually the largest financial entities in the world are the ones that are giving us this information. I hope you take that to heart and pay attention to it. From Intel Guru Frank 26, I told you in my opinion, they would go one more major move. I think that's where they're going. Look where they're at. Look where they're going. When they get to 1000 to 1, talk about the perfect scenario to lift the three zeros. But remember, there's a good chance we're not going to see the 1000 to 1. From News Hound, Intel Guru Walking Stick, they didn't print new coins. The old coins they had are still good. That might be one of the reasons why, in my opinion, they're going to incorporate it along with the lower denoms at the same time. They have not manufactured any new coins. The CBI is going to use the old coins. Those coins are sitting in the CBI vault. You can throw away fiat. 
You can throw away paper, the three zero notes, but it would be dumb to throw away precious metals. It doesn't have Saddam on it. Coins don't. From newshound guru Sandy Ingram, people have been asking, why is the Iraqi dinar one rate in Iraq and a different rate online? There are two major reasons for the different rates. One, the Iraqi government imposes strict currency controls to limit the flow of dinars out of the country. This creates a dual exchange rate system, official rate, fixed rate imposed by the Central Bank of Iraq, market rate, freely fluctuating rate is used for private transactions and most imports. Two, the IQD is not widely traded internationally. Limited demand for dinars outside Iraq weakens its value on the international market. But they are now saying speculation about a potential revaluation of the Iraqi dinar sometimes influences online prices. Speculation investors, that's us. We are causing fluctuations in the currency value. From Guru Nader from the Mideast, question, is the rate and the lower currency going to come out together? I think yes. This is why I think yes. First, because they cannot change an exchange rate with a big numbers, and second, they cannot change a lower currency with the small exchange rate. If you change, you've gotta change both. If you take the three zeros from the currency, you're gonna have to take the three zeros out of the exchange rate in the same time. That's what I think. From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, it's a painful nothing burger this evening with RV News. I ran into a brick wall everywhere I go this evening. I do not know if this is good, bad, but it is only January 2nd and this is the first work day of the new year. From Newshound Guru Pimpy, question, what's the difference between a dirty float and a managed float? You have a fixed rate like we have now where they come out and say you get 13 20 dinar for a dollar, fixed. Then you have two types of floats, free float, that means a market determines the value no ifs, ands, or buts. The market determines the value. That's a free float. A managed float is the same as a dirty float. That means the Central Bank of Iraq will watch what happens in the free market, like forks. But if it goes too far in one direction, then they intervene. They'll do something to control the exchange rate to keep it from getting out of whack. Before ending with the last update, the hashtag keyword for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is fluctuations. You can be the lucky winner if you like, subscribe, and watch the main content of this video. This will be for this coming Sunday's giveaway, and the winner will be announced in one of the Sunday's videos so you do not want to miss it. And finally, the last update is from Intel Guru Frank 26 Question. Some of the banks I called said they're going to send them to another bank and inspect them and then bring them back. What happens if the Brink truck as it's driving to the, the other bank gets robbed? We will replace the dinar. No, you won't. You'll replace the value, which is Kaka right now. Don't ever lose sight of your dinars. I told you take pictures. You just need pictures of the front of your dinar, not necessarily the back. The front has the batch number and the serial numbers. That's what's important. That's all for the latest updates on the Iraq dinar. What are your thoughts of all the articles or news coming from Iraq and opinions from these Intel providers? Moreover, we posted a breaking news article video today. Today, we've got a critical update on Iraq's economic landscape for 2024. Member of the Parliamentary Economics Committee, Hussein Habib, is shedding light on the impacts of the country's continued reliance on the dollar. We delved into why this matters for Iraq's economy and what it means for the dinar. Please go ahead and check it out by clicking on the link on the top right of this video, as you don't want to miss this. Lastly, we will continue to post videos about the recent events and articles supporting the changes taking place in Iraq so you don't want to miss them. Also don't forget, please drop a comment below with hashtag and the keyword and let us know what you think. If you like this content and like to support this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next video. Bye.